Sunday. Really nice to have you in my virtual kitchen. Um, before we get started, just remove your rings, bracelets, watches, anything you don't want dough on. Now is a good time to take it off and put it somewhere safe. Um, you've got a question. Yeah. Hannah Borthwick, where's Benny? Where? I know <laughs> Hannah, where is Benny? <laughs> Big question. <sighs> She's left us. Anyway, so today we're doing uh, cinnamon buns. So you should have all your dry ingredients ready and your 120 grams of milk. We're just gonna heat it up a bit. So pop that into your small saucepan and put it on the heat. Medium or something? Medium meat is good. Uh, so we're using, well I'm using dry yeast, but I'm not sure what you're using. I know Green is using dry yeast as well. Uh, but yeast in general works best at room temperature. So that's why we're heating the milk up. So you don't want the milk to be too hot because the yeast dies at around 60 degrees. Uh, but the cooler the milk is, the longer time it's going to take for your yeast to work and the slower your dough is going to prove up. But we're just aiming at like body temperature in your milk. So you want to make sure you can put your finger into the milk without burning yourself. If you have a burning yourself and you put your finger into the liquid, uh, let it cool down. Don't pour it over your yeast. Right. So I'm just going to pop my milk back in here. And so my dry yeast on the side, if you're using fresh yeast, you just need double the amount. So I think, Can I just see you? <laughs> I think it was 8 grams of yeast, you need 16 then. I just want that come right over there. So i got an assistant filming today as well. Right, so in here I have my strong flour, but you can use plain flour today or spelt flour. If you have any other questions about the flour, let me know. But some kind of wheat flour will be good here. So we've got our flour in here. We've got our salt. Just add that in. My dry yeast um, goes in as well. And then I've got my ground cardamom. So you can either buy the cardamom, take the seeds out, and then bash them up in a pestle and mortar, or I buy my cardamom. I use a lot of it. I buy it really ground, so that goes in. I love cardamom. Put it all in there. If you don't have cardamom, you can just leave it out. Not a big deal. Uh, Lisa asks almond flour? Nope. Sorry. We need some gluten in here. Um, right, so I got my dry ingredients together. I got my soft butter on the side. Is your butter soft? If not, make sure you cube it and leave it out. I got my sugar here. I'm gonna add that in. Check. Love it. Love it, Aslan. Lots of equipment here today. So these are all your dry ingredients. We're just gonna mix it all together. Is everyone good so far? You give a little wave or say stop if you're not quite there yet, and I can slow down. Otherwise, just mix together your dry ingredients. So this is a dough scraper. Yeah. And they're quite handy when you do bread baking. You'll see in a second because they you scrape everything together and keeps things nice and tidy. So in bread baking, you don't need a lot of equipment, but a dough scraper is like a good one pound investment. You can totally do it that way. So dough scraper on the side. I got my medium egg. You can crack the next one, Astrid, okay? Right. I'm gonna crack my egg into my warm milk. Um, two of Clubs has said, I bought loads of those plastic scrapers after attending your class. Good advice. I know, they're good, right? They're good for piping bags, they're good for everything. Also, top tip, not, not that it's so cold anymore, you can use it to scrape your car clean or frost. Another question. Two questions. Have you added your yeast? Yes. Okay, question. Uh, second question, can you recap what's in the bowl right now, please? Totally. I got my flour, strong flour in my case. 
I got my salt, I got my yeast, I got my sugar, and I got my cardamom. So all of my dry ingredients are in here. Mm? And for my dough, the only things that aren't in here is my liquid, so that's my 120 grams of warm milk, and my egg, and a little bit of butter. Butter is on purpose on the side, we're going to talk about that in a second. But for now, my five dry ingredients and my two liquid. Yeah? And I'm going to, oh, one more question. Question from Corrine, do I beat the egg in the bowl with the milk? No. You could if you wanted to, I'm not going to. I'm just going to pour it all in. Grab your scraper or spatula. Oh. You could even use just like a wooden spoon. Or do you use your hands? You could use your hands, Astrid, that's true. And we're just going to bring it together. Sometimes you do it too, Sean. I know, I'm going to get my hands in in a second. I'm just going to wait a little bit until everything comes together and I have no dry bits. So just make sure it all comes together. And if you're with, using cardamom, with, the milk, with the hot milk and the egg. With the hot milk and the egg, exactly. And no eggshells. No eggshells. That would be for, for flowers. Yep, exactly. We put those in the garden for the flowers, for the plants. No eggshells in here, it makes things a little bit crunchy. Right, you can get your hands in, mix it up. This dough shouldn't feel super sticky. If it feels super sticky, just give me a little question mark. Yeah? Not quite a question, but um, Mary, Mary says uh, Astrid should lead the next class. Yeah, <laughs> it should be baked with Astrid. It should, right, Astrid? You're great at baking and crafting eggs. And Beth uh, from Mountain Lakes says, love hearing the kids. <laughs> this much of all of us again. That's silly. No, this is a little silly. Right, so everyone, does your dough look a bit like this? A little bit dry, not too sticky? Not too sticky, yeah? it's sticky. Though. Do you think it's sticky, Astrid? Yeah, well, it's going to get sticky. sticky. I know a little bit, I know. All good? Alright. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Ashwood Mimi and Alba says, Ashwood rocks. <laughs> she does rock. Right, so get all your dry ingredients in. Don't leave anything in the bowl. Just put your bowl on the side. You're gonna use it again, so you don't need to wash it just yet. And just take the bits and pieces off your hands so you have fairly clean hands. I wash them. Yeah, well you could wash them, but you don't have to wash them right now. You can wash them at the end. You know that people wash their hands in the end. Right? I don't really wash my hands at the end. No. Right. I don't have dirty egg hands. You don't have dirty egg hands now. No. Right, I'm going to show you. So we haven't kneaded this dough. We just brought it together. And this is called the gluten test. If I cut a piece off my dough and I try to stretch it out, it breaks. Right? So... A good five to ten minutes, we're going to be able to stretch the dough, which is what we're looking for. Question. There are two questions. So I think someone probably joined late, but they asked the ingredients measurement. That was in your post, right? That's, in, that's on Instagram, in a post. Okay. And the, then, is the butter in yet? No. Nope. No butter. And then the other question, probably from someone who's recently joined, what has gone in so far? What's okay, it? so let's do another recap. In here, I got my five dry ingredients. I got flour, sugar. Salt, dry yeast, and cardamom. Got 120 grams of milk, and I got one medium egg in here. No butter yet. Yeah? Cool. Right, so we're gonna start kneading this dough. Um, I'm right handed, so my left hand holds back about a quarter of the dough, and I scoop my dough out, like so, and then I roll it back in. Yeah? Come over, Marshall. So everyone can see. So I'm holding back a bit so I can give it a good stretch out and then I roll it in again. Stretch it out and roll it in. Stretch out, roll it in. Why did you feel me a little bit? A little bit you could feel that stretch. Um, so uh, Kissy, Kapochi says, oh dear, I put the butter in the beginning. Oh, that's okay. We'll survive it. 
Don't worry. So the reason now everyone is just gonna get into the happy place and do some meeting, and we'll do a bit of chatting while we do it. And in case I get a question about throwing my phone on the ground and doing it by hand, I'll just let you know now that you can definitely do this in a kitchen knife, but it wouldn't be that much fun. So you stretching it out. Right, so it's not a big deal that you added your butter in the beginning, but the reason that we aren't doing it here is because the fat in your butter coats the protein in your flour so they can connect. And when the protein can connect, um, you're not getting a lot of gluten in your dough, so the dough doesn't rise up quite as much. So that's why we're going to knead the dough. Once we're happy with the dough consistency, we're going to get the butter in. Does that make sense? The way to think about it the other way around is when you make like um, sweet pastry and things like that, you rub your butter into your flour because you want your pastry to be flaky. Um, and you don't want a lot of gluten development in your pastry because it gives a rubbery texture. So that's why for pastries, you get your butter in, in the beginning. So it's kind of the opposite. So just keep working your dough. It shouldn't be very sticky, and if you have a scraper, you can keep it all nice and together and get the end of it. Seen on that. What's that? And this is the that 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 it like it's this white that. I know there's a bit of dough on it still, huh? I'm gonna get it in that strip. I'm gonna get it all in there. So, uh, two questions. Yep. Oh. From two of clubs. Where are you finding yeast these days? Any advice? So this is only saying this in a closed space, but um, I was all stocked up for many, many baking classes before we went into lockdown. So I have a lot of yeast, and butter, and flour, um, which is not helping you very much unless you live close by me. Um, but uh, I want to say probably like try smaller stores or bakeries for yeast. Um, but another thing, if you do find yeast and you want to like not use it all at once and you want to save it, uh, you can always half the amounts of the yeast in a recipe and then just prove your doughs for longer. Uh, and Katie says, Boundary Restaurant. Boundary, Boundary Restaurant on Deliveroo had yeast. There we go. Apparently they nice. delivered it, so there you go. Huh? And then um, someone is asking if you can knead with your mixer. Yeah. Dough hook. Uh, it's a little bit of a tight dough. You can probably all feel that now. Um, so it's a little bit tricky in your kitchen, eh? But you can definitely do it. Um, I quite like kneading by hand. It's a little bit of mindfulness, and I think we all need that in these days. Right, so you kneaded your dough for a bit. If I cut a piece off my dough, all right, and I stretch it out. Should I, should I bring it over? You can bring it over. While you're doing that, someone's asking if you can make your cinnamon buns. Mimi and Alba is making, asking if you can make your cinnamon cinnabons without yeast or a different alternative. You can use the sourdough starter, um, but you can't really use something else. And the difference between and the difference between fresh and dry. So if you're using fresh yeast, you just double the quantity of the dry yeast, and um, also fresh yeast goes off faster than dry yeast, so you need to use it within a week or so. Cool. And then Lou, 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 Lou says Squire's Kitchen also. Oh, Squire's Kitchen. Big 500 gram bags of yeast. Whoa. Then you can become like some parallel importer of yeast. Right. So if you start getting your butter in now, you should find that it starts breaking up a bit, you know. Yeah? Keep going. I'm not gonna roll it too. Yeah, we're not gonna roll it. Uh, have Kitchen with Cook, I think, dropped some hearts and said, Yay, you can use sourdough for cinnamon buns? Yes, definitely. Yay! Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> you can definitely do that. Oh, Benny joined. Oh, Benny! Benny. Where's Benny? Where is Benny? Benny's in the kitchen. 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 Benny's in
she she's there. Me. See, she said hello. That's it. That's Benny. That's Benny too. Benny's here too. Not baking. Is she baking? We don't she's know. If she's baking. So your dough should almost feel like it's breaking down a bit. You see, mine. It's a mess. If we weren't doing this together in our virtual kitchen, you might think that this is all wrong, and you would bin it. Maybe. Maybe not. And uh, but you gotta keep going. Keep going. And we're not adding any more flour in case that's my next question. No more flour is going in. Everything the butter is the butter is in though. Butter is in. Yeah, this is butter? Yes, yeah. Not that butter, that's for the filling, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. My seat is in the top top. Yeah. Get my foot again? Now I'm gonna squish it. Okay, you can squish that. Right, guys, so you should all be getting your butter in now. I'm not getting dirty hands. Mm -hmm. You're not getting dirty hands, that's good. So no flour down, just a little bit of muscle. Get all of your butter in. I'm using unsalted butter. You can use salted, but probably take a bit of the salt you out. You need to have it like this. For the late comments, that says catching you up. Miss, Miss, I don't know how to pronounce it, Miss Moims says, I miss butter. Help, now what? She missed the butter. She, she missed butter. She just put it in. Add now. it in, go for it, add the butter in. Now. Now. So in here you should have all your dry ingredients, your egg, your milk, and all of your butter. And it should look like this. It should be messy. Embrace the messiness. Bring your muscles out. And you might even burn like the calories for half a, half a cinnamon bun. Bring your scraper out if you got one, or a spatula and scrape it together. How is everyone getting on? Good. Good, Astrid? Yes. Nice. How do you think Mary's getting on? Good. How do you think Mom was getting on? Good. Good. Nice. What is Moomars? What is Moomars? Moomars, I think she's working hard and not commenting. Oh no. It's multitasking. I'm going to press the Moomars to figure out how to use Instagram Live. I think it's Moomars. We think it's Moomars. There's Lona something. Yeah, that's Moomars. This is pretty impressive, huh? Daddy should go with Nikki. Huh? Right. So just spread everything together and make sure you get it all in here. Scrape it off your hands. You got a lot on your hands. We have confirmation. It's more and more. It's more and more. Wait, what? Nothing. Two of Clubs is asking how long you do these bake longs. How often? Sorry, how often do you do these bake longs? So, I try to do them every Sunday at 3 p.m. Uh, British summertime. Oh, yes, British summertime. Thank you, Marshall. Um, and I'm just going to bake whatever you guys want to bake. So, if you have anything in particular, maybe not banana bread, because I feel like that's everywhere. Um, I guess we could do banana bread. But anything you think it's time to do, just yeah. put it in the comments somewhere and we can do that next time. Come over, Marshall. <laughs> so, this is how my dough looks like now. Uh, Hannah says we have butter everywhere. Nice. It's not really a question. It's not a question, it's a statement. <laughs> Hannah, get it in the dough. Don't make this a diet bun. Get the butter in the dough. <laughs> Does Hannah have one of these? Watching now, baking later. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> it's good. Well, so this is going to be live on Instagram for 24 hours and then we're going to put it on YouTube. You roll it? So you can always go back and find it on YouTube. What's your YouTube channel? Bake with Maria. So you know it should look like this. Nice and smooth. 
So they don't have that, that tool that you have, but, they, um, uh, but Ella has a spatula that you gave her once that okay. she never returned. <laughs> wow, all well, the honesty, huh? Or Hannah does. I don't know, maybe that's Joss. <laughs> is it Joss that's baking or is it Hannah? Dough should look nice and smooth like that. Once it's nice and smooth, my just is going to take a little zoom in. Yeah, so basically you don't want any butter lumps in there. You don't want it to be shiny in parts and not shiny in other parts. You want it to be nice and even. And what, what do we want? And slimy. You want it to be nice and slimy according to Ashley. Um, cover it with a bowl upside down when you get that far. We're just going to leave it for 20 minutes. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes just to get your dough into a good place. We'll do a little tidy up here. Just give me one. In the meantime, whilst it's relaxing when you all are done with the kneading, we're going to do the filling, we're going to do the syrup, and then we're going to roll it out and shave it. And then they're going to prove shaped on your baking tray. And this is where it's hard for me to say how long it's going to take, but I imagine it's going to be anywhere between like one to two hours. Um, and then it's going to go in the oven and bake for about 15 minutes at 170 degrees. But because all our kitchen is going to be different temperatures, the dough is going to prove with different speed. Uh, but basically, I'm going to probably prove mine for 90 minutes. I'll take a picture of it when it's ready to go in the oven. I can post it so you can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, that's like the only uncertainty where we're not going to be on the same level. So I'm just going to do a video now of shaping it and doing the filling and the glaze and putting it away to proof. Does that sound good? Does it make sense? So a dough with two proofs, a bulk fermentation now and then the proving afterwards. The Cake Fairy says you're a great teacher. Thumbs up. Thank you. And um, Knit Concept says, have you put on your oven yet? Have you started no. your oven yet? No. Because it's at least an hour and a half away. Um, so there's no need for that just yet. How long do I put? Oh, sorry. Someone had a bad connection. How long do they prove for? About one to two hours. The second proof. The second proof. Right now, the first bulk fermentation is just 20 minutes. We're going to shave them, put them on the baking uh, tray, and then leave them for one to two hours. So the thing is, like, most recipes will say until double in size, but it's really hard to know once things have double in size just by looking at it. But what you're going to do, you're going to poke your dough, and the indentation that your finger makes is not going to spring back. That's when we're going to bake them off. So I'll show you when this one has been proving for 20 minutes, because you will see that when I poke this one, because it's only been 20 minutes, I poke it, I leave an indentation that quickly springs back, and that, that means when they shake, that they need to go for a bit longer. Because the yeast is still working away in there. Someone's asked, uh, I don't know if you can answer this, but oh. could you let us know your oven temp gas mark? Can I ask Google? Uh, maybe. Okay, Google. What's 170 fan in gas mark? Sorry, I didn't understand. Google doesn't understand. I think it's three, but we got, we're going to Google it old school and type it in and tell you. It's what you would normally bake like a cake at, I would say. So we're not baking it as hot as a bread because there's sugar in there um, and the sugar caramelizes and goes dark brown. And if you bake it at 220 or 200 degrees, it will burn too quickly and your bread won't, or your cinnamon buns won't bake through. So that's why we're doing 170. Gas mark four, says the living Google. How's everyone getting on? Oh, uh, both Karen says three, so. Uh, three or three four. Three or four. <laughs> <laughs> Once we start baking these buns off, if they color within the first like 10 minutes and they look done, you can always cover them with some tin foil and then bake for another five minutes. Uh, the tin foil prevents your buns from taking on more color, but it keeps the baking. So instead of just like burning them or eating them half raw, you just cover them with tin foil um, to finish the bake. Right, are we ready to make the filling? Thumbs up if you are. If you don't do thumbs up, it's probably because you've got dough on your hands. Yes. Uh, so Lisa, <laughs> so um, Lisa said, Maria is amazing. I can't believe I lived with such an amazing baker. Oh, 
Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> are you baking now, though, or are you just watching? <laughs> Um, Kate Kraft says, my butter was too warm and now it's gone runny. Can I put it in the fridge or do I need to start again? Don't start again. Is this the butter for your filling or for your dough? Everyone's putting thumbs up except for Kate Kraft. Okay. Let's just wait a second. Okay. See what she says. If it's a one for your dough, you're just going to keep kneading. I promise it will come together. The butter almost has to break down to get incorporated. The dough has to break down and the butter has to melt to get incorporated. Right. Moving on. Lisa's, the Lisa's just watching. <laughs> so a little bit creepy. Right. So for our filling here, we got whoop, 75 grams of sugar, 75 grams of unsalted butter, and we got two teaspoons of cinnamon. Um, I put uh, in the post one to two teaspoons of cinnamon. Obviously, the more you like cinnamon, the more cinnamon you're going to put in. And then dump that into a medium bowl. Grab a spoon or a spatula or something. Yeah. In the ingredients list, it says sugar in the dough. Did I miss it? Yes, you did. That went in with all your dry ingredients. So your five dry ingredients is flour, salt, sugar, yeast, and cardamom. If you still have it and your dough is ready, just chuck it in. Keep kneading. Just for another minute. We'll wait for you. So your dough should always start by mixing together your dry ingredients, adding your liquid, in our case it's milk and egg, uh, and finding your butter, your soft room temperature butter. Um, cool. Right, so just if you forgot the sugar, just put it in now, knead it a couple of times, we'll get it incorporated, it's not a big deal. Put the sugar in ready. I did put the sugar in, there's more sugar here. Good thing there's no sugar shortage. Ah, that's right. would be a big trouble in this household. Right. I love cookies. I know you love cookies. So in here, this is the filling that I'm going to be making. It's my cinnamon, sugar, and butter. Yeah? We're not doing this in the kitchen, eh? Because that would aerate it too much. We don't need that. We just need to combine it. Just mix it all together until it's one color. Any questions? Um, Kate Kraft has asked, can I knead it in my K-mix to catch up? And I'm th I think she's th we're referencing back to the... Yeah, you can throw the dough into your K-mix. That's cool. Um, with your hook attachment, obviously. Right, so just mix it up. It should smell nice. and For me, it's quite Christmassy with the cinnamon. But just mix it all together. So it's all uniform. So it should look like this. Yeah? I'll put it in here and you can bring it over. Does it look good, Astrid? How did you make it? How did I make it? It's muscles, Astrid. 2020 Daisies asked, what's syrup? Syrup is what we're going to put on the buns once they're out of the oven. Right now we're just doing the filling. So this is what's going to go in the buns when we shake them. Mommy? Yeah? Thank you, Mia. <laughs> this is part of homeschooling. This is part of homeschooling. Right, so this is your filling. Hmm? If you really love cardamom, you can do cardamom as well instead of the cinnamon. That would be a true I don't cardamom. Like cinnamon. You don't like cinnamon? Why not? It's delicious. You like these buns though? Right, so this is your filling. So right now we should have our dough still resting here. We should have our filling next to it. And we're going to make this syrup to go on top. Yeah? So far, so good. Thumbs up, thumbs down. How's cake, everyone doing? The cake fairy is asking: Is it two table, two teaspoons, or tablespoons of cinnamon? Teaspoons. Otherwise, you'd be like blown away. <laughs> right. So if you have your dough in front of you. 
love this shortly, I promise us. So you've got your dough in front of you, you've got your filling in front of you, and we're going to make the syrup. So basically, the cinnamon buns, we've got to roll it out, put the filling in, shake them, prove them up, you can give them an egg wash, bake them. Once they're out of the oven, it's still slightly warm, you're going to brush the syrup on them. It makes them nice and shiny and a little bit sticky. So if you've had a cardamom or cinnamon bun before from places like Fabrique or any other Scandi bakery, you know that they're a little bit sticky. Question. Question. Astrid. Yes. Why is Mom more here? Why is Mom more here? Why is Mom more here? Why? No, Captain. Why is Benny here for no baking? I know. Maybe so, she is. Maybe she is baking, Benny. Hmm. So. If you have your filling and your dough ready, we're going to make the syrup. So in my saucepan, I have my caster sugar. I don't have any. I don't have any too. I think it's 50 grams. And into that, we're going to add uh, the water, 75 grams of water. And you might have noticed the eagle eye baker might have noticed that everything in my recipes are in grams, even when I measure out my liquid. It just makes it a lot easier when you scale things out to do it by grams. So when I do my water, I can just mesh out the 75 grams. It's easier than trying to figure out where 75 grams is here. And it's precision. And baking is all about precision. The more precise you are, the easier it is to get good results. So water and sugar in my small saucepan. And I'm just going to bring it up to about medium heat. So this is just a simple syrup. You could flavor it, but there's no need. Really, this is just to make it nice and sticky. You flavor it right now. With what would you flavor it with? Chocolate. I knew you were going to say chocolate. So, uh, Mom's Table Kitchen has, what was the next thing you did? I'm not sure where she dropped off. I think it was just make the syrup, right? Right, or... so if you have your dough in front of you, you're filling in front of you, then it's the syrup. And then um, Lisa said I bought a scale. So That's a good start. She's excited. And then uh, Rachel says, how much sugar? 50 grams. I, think. I thought it was 75. Oh, let's just, no, it was no that was the water. That was the water. Marshall, this is why you don't bake. Sorry, I'll be quiet. Yeah, 50, thanks Marshall for the confusion. 50 grams of sugar and 75 of water. And then, uh, oh, this is an interesting one. Um, Cristal, Cristal ah. said, how about putting a stick of cinnamon in the syrup for extra flavor? Delicious, I like it. You like it, baby? That's I like it, I knew you Next question. You had another question, tell me. question, we have to call her afterwards and see if she was baking, huh? Ooh, another interesting question. Yeah? Can I use honey instead of syrup? And just like spread the honey on top of the buns afterwards? Hmm, I think you would probably have to, sit, to thin the honey a bit with some boiling water and then you could do it. So that have 75 grams of boiling water, drop a tablespoon of honey into it, dissolve it and you can uh, put it on top. The only thing is, you probably like more honey more than I do. I don't love honey. I think it has like its purpose in certain things. I love honey. You love honey, Astrid, but I don't. So I wouldn't necessarily want the honey flavor in my uh, cinnamon bun. But if you like honey, it's definitely something you can do. So just one tablespoon into your hot boiling water to dissolve. <sighs> What's that? I'm a treat. I'm a treat. Yeah. <sighs> Like we're just gonna keep the syrup on the on the stove just for a few minutes, and then you can go back in here with your brush. Right. So everyone has their dough filling. I feel like Groundhog Day. Repeat myself. Dough filling in front of them. Can you look at that? Liam, For your filling, you need either a, a spoon or a little offset spatula. Question. Should the water boil? Yeah, what? Water boil. That's cool. Might not 
but I'm just thicken up a bit. Right, so filling, small offset spatula or a spoon. Go, get your rolling pins out. And if you don't have a rolling pin, you can use an empty wine bottle, which I'm sure you have at home to Justin these days. And your bench flower. It could be anything, it could even be self raising, it doesn't matter. Ooh. And it can, be, it can be also chocolate. It could also be chocolate, don't, don't make it chocolate. Uh, and either a pizza cutter or a sharp knife. Scandy Minis has asked, so you don't brush the buns with an egg before they go in the oven? You can do that. You can either do egg wash or leave it off. Because we're going to do the syrup and the syrup is going to make it nice and shiny. Right. You can turn off the heat on your syrup if it's been on for a few minutes. And just pop it in the syrup. That's a bit too late now, I see. You can make a bun out of that. Can you use granulated sugar for your syrup? Yep. So if I put my finger on it, can you see how it springs back? Maybe do it on the top. Top. It pops back up, right? This is fine for what I'm doing now, but when I'm shaping my buns and to know when they're ready to go in the oven, I do not want it to spring up. I want the indentation to stay down. That's when they're ready to be baked. Uh, SK Wallace asks, what consistency should the syrup be? It's pretty white. It doesn't have to thicken up, that's fine. Right, we're gonna roll this into a rectangular shape. Make sure you have flour down. Make sure you lift up your dough ever so often. Otherwise it's gonna get stuck in the table and tear. And don't worry about it springing back on you. It will. So Hannah's, oh. Hannah's asked, what if it already doesn't spring back? It does, Hannah. How long did you leave your dough for? Did you leave it for 20 minutes? You might just haven't had time to prove up yet. It'll be fine. Yeah, one thumbs up. <laughs> Good. Not from Hannah. Not from Hannah. <laughs> Oh, 2020 Daisy is asking if um, they can put the, the dough in the fridge and finish it tomorrow. Yeah, you do that. Definitely. You can always make this in advance. So if I wanted to eat cinnamon buns on my Sunday morning, I would make it on the Saturday night, but I would shave them and put them on my baking tray and then put them in the fridge because then Sunday morning I could just take them out and bake them straight away. Everyone needs to have a rectangle in front of them, like so. Once you have that in front of you, you're going to make a little scanty pizza here with your filling.
and then just use the spatula to connect connect the dots here. So Mimi and Alba says that looks good, and I miss your classes. Oh, I miss you too, Mimi. And then um, um, I, do, I can't pronounce this this uh, name, but it says, "How big a sheet of dough do I need to roll it to, please?" Roughly. Mm, what is that? Twenty times sixty. Yeah. Twenty-five times sixty. Twenty-five times sixty. No, twenty-five times forty or fifty. Can I put it with me? Can I put it with me? No. My assistant has joined me. Right, so we're oh, so we'll Katie's still spreading cinnamon, so you might be moving too quickly for that's people. That's all right, that's okay. We'll take it easy. Essel will spread some flour. So basically, you fold it in three, and then you rotate it 90 degrees. There we go. Bit more flour until that's done. Just a little more flour. Yeah, a little more flour. Mm -hmm. Just like that. That me? Mm -hmm. Just like that. Did you wash your hands, Ashton? Come on. Did you do that? Yeah. Have a little bit of that. Yeah. Okay. She's going to look at it. It's like a big spot. Okay. She'll be back. Okay, let's go. Right. Is everyone at the same stage? No. No. No, me. We're going to start by tapping your dough out of it. So just tap it. So again, my opening is on my right hand side here. Okay. So Hannah's got another question. Yep. Yeah. Is there water or gin in Maria's glass? <laughs> Do you have to ask Hannah? <laughs> more flour, there we go. There's plenty of flour. Can I go out first? What's in your glass, Hannah? Alright, okay, so you grab that. Oh, amazing. Oh. And you have so flat. So, so, so flat. So, so flat. And that's Oh, okay. Are you ready? I'll get you some dough in a second. And right. then Lorna Dundon says, Hey Maria, I still haven't been able to find flour, so I can't ah. join yet. Someday soon. And then maybe if people know where to find flour, they could just recommend it on this for, for Lorna. Where have you seen flour? We bought it. Well, we bought some on Amazon. Amazon. Put Amazon flour. It's good flour. Yeah. Well, it's it's good. Once you have this slap, yeah, cut it. As a, yeah, a yeah, twist, little. Yeah, You're gonna yeah. cut it into one piece. Yeah. And how wide are they? So wide. 
Oh, about two centimeters? Yeah. Yeah. Mama, this way. About that way. Why are they the same size? Because then everybody gets the same size bun. No one's good. The small one. The big one. Like this big. I don't know. How's everyone doing? Does everyone have strips two. in front of them? I have. How many strips do I have? I strip. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, Come here. Uh, Shabs is asking, does adding milk soften the dough? Yeah. But I had a few questions about um, replacement milks. And I don't think I would necessarily use almond milk or oat milk or soy. I would just use water. Because you still have the, the butter in there to soften it. But you can't like, make it big. You can't make too many like each other. Because like, like, you can have the same. You can have... Okay, we're starting to get some thumbs up. Thumbs up? Good. Oh, yeah. All of them? All of them? There's no thumbs down that I can see. I should have mentioned, remember when we spread out the filling? If you just wanted to do the little snails, you just roll the dough up and you cut them out and turn them. That's I'm how you get the little snails. I'm but we're going to go advance and twist these. Oh, we got a, one of these, the biceps. Oh, nice. Yeah. Someone is so ready. Right. Marshall, come closer. One. That's a snail. There we go. That's a good snail, Astrid. Right. So, I'm going to grab in one end with these three fingers. Lift it up. Whoops. Actually, scratch that. I'm just going to twist it a bit first because it is a cardamom. That's it. I'm going to twist. Uh, oh, no. I didn't twist it. Lift it up. Twice around. I didn't twist it. Oh, fix it. Don't worry. I'm keeping mine like that. I'm not breaking them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, but this is so fun, Astrid. Let's do that again, guys. Should I come back over? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do double snail. Double snail? Yeah. Who's going to eat that? Me. Of course. Double, right, double lift snail. Lift it up. Twist. Once. Twice. I see. And then just pull it through. This is my one too. I'm getting double snail on this point. Okay. I don't think I'd be able to do that. You? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Do you do a few more, Astrid? Okay. Okay, let's twist this guy. Right, so first you... Let's do. We'll do one we'll we'll for you too. Opposite direction. Lift it up. How can, how can I? Yeah, look, I got this one. One. Don't break these. I'm not... Okay. Twice. And, and then stop it. Put some, like, put some on this side. Can you finish? Do you think so? Like, to make them. Oh, you're breaking all of them. I think it's good with some twists on them. And then we can roll it up. We can twist it. Look at this, Esther. Twist it and then roll, 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 roll. What do you think about that? No. No? Okay, we can roll it. Okay, we're going to keep them like that. Um, so, so Lorna just wanted to say, really hope to join for the Italy trip again next year. Loved it so much. Can you imagine? We were supposed to be in Italy today, in Tuscany. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Because of the coronavirus! Because of the coronavirus, we're not there! Oh, but please come back next year. Next year is going to be truly epic. Because we're going to have filled up a lot of happiness for this. And then, coronavirus is going to stop. It's going to stop. When is coronavirus going to stop, I swear? Mm, 100 days. No, 100 days. No, in 40 days. In 40 days? You heard it here first. 40 days. It'll be over. It'll be back to normal. Oh, my hands are sticky. I'm sticky. Alright. 
So once you have shaped them, you can cover your tray with some cling film. Just leave it at room temperature for about a, between one and two hours. Remember when I talked about Ding. poking it? And it not springing back, that's when they're ready to go in the oven. You can then give them an egg wash if you want, pop them in the oven, 100, 170 degrees for about 18 minutes. And then you go one of these when I'm not sure you need to have one. Exactly, and that's once they out of the oven, the sugar syrup goes on. Um, but I'll post it somehow on Instagram so you can see what I mean. But I'm going to leave these for yeah, an hour and a half now. So basically, you want to leave them for probably longer than you think. It's got the time. So keep pressing that one. Uh, because you want your buns to be really light and fluffy. And if you bake them too quickly, because you... Perfect. And then press that one. Because uh, you're impatient, you're going to have really heavy buns. So make sure that you leave them for about an hour and a half, I would say. Our temperature in here is about 22 degrees. Um, then egg wash. If you're using egg wash in the oven, 170 fan for about 18 minutes. And then you minutes. have it like 100. And Sorry. then you have it 100. Sorry, how long do you bake it for? About 18 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of your buns as well. This could all be a bit different. And um, you need to have it up to 100. Or oh, an hour and a half. Right, any questions? How is everyone getting on? 18 to 20 minutes. Just confirm me that because there are a couple minutes. questions. Yeah. 18 to 20, 170 fan. Give me a thumb five, down one or up one. Which one? Down or up? It's all up, Astrid. It's all, all up. up. Phew, huh, Astrid? I think they got it. So if you don't have fan, you add another 10 degrees and then it's 180. So 180 non fan, 170 yeah, fan. Wait, wait, wait. When well, you're not finished, you can just go on five down. Mm -hmm. They're all doing thumbs up. Uh, cover with cling film? Yes, please. Yes, please. Cover with cling film. You don't want it to dry. I got cling film. That's just going to get cling film. We're going to show you. Yep. Yep. And it's a purple one, but then it starts going white when you take yep. it off. Exactly. That's the one we need. Awesome. Nice comments. I've only done plain cinnamon buns before. This method is so amazing. Love it. My kitchen smells so lovely. My three-year-old is helping with the shaping. She says hello to Astrid. <laughs> How long do I leave them before they go in the oven? An hour and a half. Clean film. It is this. This is clean film. Um, this was so fun. Thank you, Maria. Lovely to see Astrid after so long. That was from Princess Mamuna. Oh, thank you. Thanks for coming, guys. Oh. And, if you, and if you don't use clean film. Can you use a tea towel? Mm, no, because no, you don't want the dough to get stuck in the tea towel. Do you, a clean bin liner will do. A clean bin liner. There, yeah, of course. Um, yeah. SK Wallace asks, can you explain again what you do with the sugar syrup at the end? I'm going to film it as well, but once they're out of the oven and the buns are still warm, I'm just going to brush my sugar syrup on my buns. I'm brushing it on. S is going to brush it on. It's going to make them nice and sticky. Oh, if you don't want sticky, don't put it on. Oh, you have a kitty. Oh, you have a kitty. Who'd do it? And Katie says, uh, recommends that Ash should get her own baking channel. Yeah. She's going to be a star. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. And it will only be with chocolate, I think. Right, Ashford? Yeah.